I hope everyone's doing well. I am Mr. Ish. We're evaluating this limit here in this video. Limit as x approaches infinity, I have 1 plus 2 over x to the power of 4x. Think about a very important limit definition which most students should know. Limit as x approaches infinity, I have 1 plus 1 over x to the power of x. If I evaluate this, it's always an end result of e. It's a limit definition you should memorize. It gives you the value of e because when you're graphing it out, you're looking at a function which is approaching a horizontal asymptote and I'm only showing you in the one direction right where in the direction of positive infinity and this right is y is equal to e. You're looking at it. Then the other portion of the graph is right over here. And yeah, we're only focusing on this part right here. And it always gives you that e. There's another limit which also gives you e but it's not relevant to this example. Limit as x approaches zero, you have one plus x to the power of one over x. If you evaluate this, you will also get e. These are your two limits which will always give you e. When you are graphing this one right over here, you're looking here at a function which looks like this. At this zero approaching from the right, zero approaching from the left, this intercept here is zero comma e. And this function over here is one plus x to the power of one over x. As x values approach zero from the right and left, your function approaches this intercept which is e, hence, these are two limits you should be aware of, but for the purpose of this video, this is what is applying. We have to somehow convert that into this, and we can. And you can do so by means of a substitution. Look over here, 2 over x. If 2 over x were to equal to 1 over u, I saw for x. x here is equal to 2u, and you substitute it. I'm looking at 1 plus 2 over x, which is a 2u. Then I have a 4 times 2u, and then the limit applies to that. And you've seen the substitution, x is equal to 2u, by means of what I showed you, now bring in your limit, it'll become limit as u approaches infinity. I'm looking at 1 plus, the 2's cancel out, I have 1 over u, 4 times 2. But you see this 4 times 2, it's like a, equal to an 8u, I'm only putting a u. And then that 8, I'm putting right over here. You see this? 8u, a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m n. That's what I've done, but I've separated them out. By separating them out, I have this portion over here, which looks exactly this item in the box. From that box, I'm getting an e, but there's an 8 sitting out, and this e to the power of 8 must be your answer. And it concludes the video. Again, remember this limit. It's a definition you should remember and memorize, along with the other one I showed you, but you've seen it. In this video, I've shown you both, but this right here applies for this limit question. Your end result is e to the power of 8. Thank you for watching.